Need LASIK? Trust the experienced team at the LASIK Center at Evergreen Eye Center. No glasses, no contacts, no limits. What will you do? LASIK at evergreen.com. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. We like to talk about innovators on this show from time to time. And today's second date update features somebody who did a very innovative move. I think they redefined Netflix and chill. What? Yeah, I don't understand how this happened. I read their email. We'll get to the Netflix thing in just a second. But first, let's meet our second dater. Her name's Ginger. What's up, Ginger? Hey, what's up? What's up? We don't even know what Jubal's talking about, but everybody's kind of impressed by you already, Ginger. Yeah, I know. Oh, my goodness. It didn't start out as Netflix and chill, okay? It was weird. Yeah, but you didn't even really net... You Netflixed in a weird place. Anyway, we'll we'll get to that in just a second. (laughs) What's the name of the guy you want to call today? I want to call Nick. Nick, all right. And how did you meet Nick? I met him in a bar, but like he was really nice and he pulled this kind of corny move on me. Like he wrote on a BevNap, like, hi, I'm Nick. You're cute. And it worked. Yeah, that would work on me too. <laughs> it's so simple. Well, you just got to be But it's like, now. oh my God, real human interaction. Exactly. Right? It was like straightforward. It wasn't some like gimmicky pickup line. It was just like. Statement of intent. Boom. Did he put like a box on it? Like check yes, check no if you like to go out with me? No, no. We're we're, we're not in middle school anymore. Oh, (laughs) Oh, Ginger, don't lie. You would have gone for that too. Okay, probably. Yeah. Um, But no, it was was cute. So anyways, we started talking. We were talking about what kind of movies we liked. We just really hit it off, you know? And we were having a good time, but it was kind of noisy in the bar. We decided to go split a pizza. We could actually, like, hear each other talk, you know, enjoy each other's company. Oh, so you guys, like, really hit it off. This is actually your date, then. Yeah, I know. It, like, I don't know. Something just clicked, and we were having fun and talking to each other like people. Wow. Weird. Weird. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> odd. Right? Well, from a bar, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys split a pizza, and what else did you do? Well, we went to go get the pizza, and while we're waiting, we're like, hey, so we get your pizza here. Here's like, we could go split it back at my place. I live a couple blocks away, and we could, like, watch one of those movies we were talking about and eat our pizza. And, like, I don't know. It just seemed like a good idea. I was on board. Oh, wait. He recommended that. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Yeah, it was his idea. It was his idea to upgrade pizza at the pizzeria that pizza at his place with movies okay and, and this what... is where the weird netflix thing happened it seems yeah like. yeah okay so we're walking with our pizza right and then he starts looking at his phone and apparently his roommate had dibs on the apartment and already had a girl up there oh, oh no he no. beat him to the punch Hater. you're like i was gonna get some what's wrong with the roommate right <laughs> i had a plan and i had a pizza and anyways so <laughs> He, uh, he was like, wait, I have a backup plan. It's kind of weird, but hear me out. So we sat in the backseat of his car and watched Netflix on his phone and ate our pizza. Oh, <laughs> shut up. That sounds like a good date still. It though. actually still sounds kind of yeah. fun, yeah. It was. It was like a new. He was just trying to make the best of a bad situation. Like, well, you know, I promised you movies and pizza. We're Let's do movies and pizza. Cool. So how, I mean, you guys got it on in the back of the car, right? In a little bit. A right. little bit. Hey, you either do it or you yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess you could a little bit, but I, I'm hoping you finished everything up. Well, there was a lot of pizza back there and not a lot of room, so we made out a little bit. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you okay. didn't actually really hook up in the backseat. I mean, everyone has different interpretations of what hook up means. We were making out, and that's hooking up to me. Okay. So wait, was it all fun, or were there any awkward moments? I mean, aside from the car seat being awkward, right. it was it was fine. <laughs> and how did it end? Well, we were making out, and, you know, his roommate texts him and was like, hey, they're heading out. We can, you know, go up to the apartment now. And I don't know. I didn't want to seem thirsty. I was like, uh, we can save it for next time, uh, you know? Oh, so you turned him down going up to his place. I did. I didn't want to seem over eager or like easy, you know? Yeah. yeah you're like, I'm a backseat type of girl, mm-hmm. not a real apartment type <laughs> of girl. Yeah. Okay? I will not go into your apartment, but I will do stuff in the backseat all day long. <laughs> what do you think I am? Well, yeah. Not all day long for some of the evening. Thank okay. you. Okay. Hey, we pr- we're promoting what you're doing. Got it. How well, did everything end? And I mean, you know, I said, thanks for a good time. I, I He has my number. I, I said, love to see you again soon. And I just haven't heard from him. What was his mood at the end of the evening? He seemed to be fine. I don't know. Like, interested? I mean, he seemed kind of disappointed I wouldn't come up. But, like, 
I don't know. It seemed like we were going to hang out again. Hmm. And how many times have you tried to get a hold of him since? I've sent him a couple texts. I don't want to be like smothering, but he should have noticed. Okay. Well, we'll play a song, then come back and call him and see if we can get you a second date update, okay? Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. All right. Hang on. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the mornings. Second date update. Right in the middle of a second date update. And if you're just joining us, Ginger is on the phone and she wants to call a dude named Nick. They met at a bar and then hung out and went to go get pizza. And then they decided, let's go back to my place and split the pizza. Except mm-hmm. his place had his roommate in it with another girl. So they couldn't go upstairs. Instead, they watched Netflix, split a pizza, and made out a little bit in the backseat of his car. <laughs> it's and like high school all over again. It, it is. <laughs> At the end of the night, his roommate was like, oh, okay, it's all good now. You can come up to the place. And he invited her up and she said no. Oh. But they did end on good terms. I haven't asked the most important question yet, though, Ginger. Yeah. What kind of pizza was it? Yeah, good point. No, no it is. Okay, don't hate me, but it was a Hawaiian pizza. Ooh. Oh, a lot nice. of controversy over Hawaiian yeah. pizza. That's if you why. find another person who loves pineapple on pizza as much as you do, you need to lock it down. Ew. That's what I thought. Yeah. I'm just asking because I'm hungry. It yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, we're about to give him a call. Any last words? Oh, I just want to say thank you so much for helping me out with this. I listen to you guys every morning. Jubal Brick, I I like, I love you guys so okay, much. Well, and this really means a lot that you're helping me out. Let's cool. call him and find out if he has anything horrible to say. And then <laughs> maybe hold your thanks till after that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a good point. All right, I'm going to dial his phone right now. Here we go. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Nick, please? Uh, yeah, this is Nick. Nick, what's up, man? How are you? This is Jubal from the radio show Brook and Jubal in the morning. Uh, no way. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, hey. What's up, Nick? <laughs> Wait. Seriously? Yeah. Uh, I, I think so, yeah. I, I don't know why else we'd be on the phone and I'd be claiming to be Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning, a radio sound, show. Like, you sound like Jubal. It'd be a weird call to get if it wasn't for real. <laughs> I mean, are you guys calling to do like uh, like a second date update or something like that? Yes. Ooh. How did you Actually, know? we are. Is by any chance the person who had you call is a girl named Ginger? What? Dude. Nick, what yeah. are you? Yes, it is. Was Nick. this like, <laughs> what is happening? This is, this is good. Okay, so she actually said that she'd do this if I didn't call her back. Really? She's a huge fan of your show. And she said it like I thought she was joking. She's like, if you don't call me, I'm going to put you on second date update. <laughs> oh, no way. All right. Well, was you it- didn't call it. Did you, is this just a test in? You didn't call her to see if she'd actually follow through because yeah. she did. <laughs> uh, not exactly. It's a little bit more complex than that. But um, oh. uh, I don't know. I just didn't think that we necessarily had that much potential for, you know, the future. Cause- Wait, hold up. Why did you why didn't you have potential? You know how these go. We have to figure that out. Uh, this is going to sound a bit bizarre, but she's kind of obsessed with you guys. What? And, well, okay, so we got pizza. We were watching Netflix. Um, with, I, I don't know. She probably meant it. It's kind of com- funny. She, my roommate had a girl over, so we ended up in the back of my car. Yeah, right. she told us all that. Okay, all right. She also told us that she defines hooking up as making out. I thought that was weird. <laughs> But anyway, I think a lot of people define it that way. She says you guys made out in the back of the car, and then you invited her upstairs, but she said no thanks, and that was the end of the night. This is so. This I feel like this is so strange, but she she really seems to be like she could not stop talking about you, Jubal. She was like, he's so funny, and like he always knows the right thing to say, and when I'm in a weird mood, like he's just got he just like. Uh, I'd love to meet a guy like that. There's just never an awkward silence. He just knows exactly what to say. And, like, There's never laugh. awkwardness? Are There's you sure awkward. she's talking yeah. about the same <laughs> Jubal that is in this room right now? Well, that's what makes him funny, though. I promise you. Really? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. She, she, yeah. So should I be scared? Dude, she stalks you on your Insta. <laughs> oh. oh, nice. So, again, should I be scared? <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I mean, maybe you like that kind of thing. Oh, really? I prefer people to kind of not like me. You guys, more. I think <laughs> makes me feel better. I think you aren't be- like uh, she's just a fan. Like she just likes listening to the show. The Instagram is public so that people can look at it. Like that's the whole point. I've met girls the same thing where I'm even trying to be on a date and they ask questions about Jubal all the time. What's he look like? What's he about? He's so funny, and I'm like, I can give fan. you a mask to wear next time. <laughs> Thank you. That yeah. would actually no, help. No, but like, so is, Nick, the- is that the reason you're not? wanting to call her back because she was like obsessed with the show or whatever obsessed with you and she kind of she had yep. kind of glazed up she looked out the window wasn't really even like looking at me like as, as if she was like oh man like kind of felt like she wished i was jubal and i was oh. like oh, i'm a little i can give you a mask too nick i can yeah. give everybody masks i guess <laughs> maybe you can learn some of his voices yeah you know what i just want to let Jubal be Jubal, and I'll be me, and I think there's probably someone out there who might be right for me, and I might have just met the girl who's right for Jubal. Oh, I don't yeah. know. There it is. So, <laughs> is this a second date for Jubal, or is it a second date for you? I'm what so is, confused. Well, let's find out, and I, I'm scared to do this now. Yeah, I can and hear it in your voice. <laughs> Nick, Ginger is actually on the other line and wants to talk to you. I think you. you. Hi. Oh, poor Ginger, you're embarrassed, aren't you? I am. Like, oh, that's not, it wasn't like that. I wasn't talking about it that much. I mean, like, really? everyone knows Dribble is hilarious, right? Not everybody. I don't. <laughs> not everybody does. Stop being so modest, cutie pants. <laughs> cutie <laughs> pants? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, that that's my new the first, nickname. I think. I mean, he does have nice jeans. Why can't we be Brooke and cutie pants in the morning? <laughs> I, I would like that a lot, I think. <laughs> What's up with the CP? So, yeah. <laughs> Ginger, do you want to go out with Nick? I'm confused now. Yeah. I mean, I did, but he wasn't responding. But now I'm on the phone with you, so we can just talk. Oh, yeah. Ginger. Really? No, Ginger, I have a girlfriend, so mm-hmm. I'm good there. But, like, you know, if there comes a time when you don't, like, I'm around. <laughs> mm, okay. <laughs> Ginger, well, don't do this. It looks desperate. Brooke, I've heard what you have to say. Don't worry. I, I can handle myself. Uh-huh. I don't know if I can handle myself. Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem. So, Nick, Nick, are you still on the phone? Yep. Oh, I'm not missing this. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, just confusing. Just I don't know what bleachers. to do with this now. <laughs> so, Jubal, I mean, I've followed you on Insta for a while. Uh, your girlfriend don't seem to last that long so i don't this is not going to be around for a long time right no, no. that's messed up ginger i i will agree with you uh previous girlfriends yeah it was a <laughs> lot of turnover there but this one is going to be around for a long time yeah. i think so i think i've heard you say that before I, you might yeah. have but i was lying then i'm not lying now yes. <laughs> i'm telling the truth now ginger. it is hard to believe you at that <laughs> I mean, it sounds like Jose is also there in the background. And I mean, ugh, I love his laugh. It's so infectious. What? Wait, hold so, up. Did no, you, are you not. just going to the like the backup plan already? You want to go out with Jose? I didn't say backup. These are, these are my morning men. I listen every morning. Oh, like, morning oh men. Oh, my God. So wait, if I say no, are you going to go for Brooke now? You're not going to say no, Jose. No, I probably won't. Yeah, you should just hit <laughs> Jose up. That is probably a pretty sure thing. <laughs> Are you guys serious? Is there, like, a chance? Well, it depends. You, it depends. Yeah. You DM me on Instagram. Ginger, I'll are answer. you a, f- a female, and do you have a pulse? <laughs> you don't have to say yes to those things. Well, those are my well standards, then there so. you go. You should hit Jose up. God. Amazing. I mean, it's funny, but in all honesty, you were here for Jubal, and you were open about that. I don't think I'm down with all that, like, being the backup plan. Not in public, but hit him up in his DM. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, Come so on. Sad. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. I have some kind of morals, kind of. But, but thank you for listening, Ginger. Seriously, appreciate it. Always. Yeah. And I should probably ask this question too. Nick, would you like to go out with Ginger on a second date? <laughs> we will pay for it. Yeah, that's a no. Oh, yeah. That's a no. Yeah. Oh, come on. We can tell the story to everyone of how we were on the radio together and that's how we worked things out. Wait, Ginger, oh, wait. you're still so now like, you're, considering wait. a date with you'll Nick? Go, you'll go out with Nick now? You're still down to go out with Nick? I've been trying to go out with Nick from the beginning. Oh, my God. Okay. So this is confusing. <laughs> Ginger will go out with anybody. I don't see what the big deal is. It's just going out. It's not like all three of us are getting married. But how oh did, my how God. did all three of us now become no, involved wait. in this? That is her new oh, fantasy. On the show together, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> her on the show, huh? Out, man. Nick, you have anything to say? Yeah, I don't think... 
uh, what is this, third or fiddle at this point is going to work for me. It's just, a, you know, to my... Uh, you started as first oh, fiddle. You could have just texted me back. Yeah, you were first fiddle. Oh, that's a good then point. I was second fiddle. Jose was technically third fiddle. Now you're first fiddle, but like reheated. Yeah, there you I don't go. even know yeah. how you heat up a fiddle, but you know what I mean. Like, Man, I don't know about all these fiddles. I'm just worried that Ginger's going to be in our parking garage tomorrow morning. <laughs> no. Look, you know I love you, but you need to shut the f- up. <laughs> right. wow. well, I'm blocking her. I'm sorry, Ginger. Ginger. I'm sorry you didn't get a date with anybody oh, right man. now. Oh, Ginger. <laughs> but I'm sure we can find you yeah. someone to go out with. Good. Open up the text phone. 78592. I know it. <laughs> text in. 78592. Is anybody willing to go out with Ginger? Oh, yeah. oh my God. Broken Jubal in the morning. Text in at 78592 says two words, restraining order. Mm. Broken Jubal in the morning. And I think two words have never been spoken that are more true. Yeah. If you missed today's second date update, this girl Ginger wanted to call a dude named Nick. They met at a bar and then went back to his place to watch Netflix, but they couldn't go up to his place because his roommate was up there with another girl. So they improvised, watched Netflix in his in the backseat of his car on his phone, and they made out a little bit. We called and got Nick on the phone, and the reason he wasn't calling her back was because she was obsessed with the show. Even told him, if you don't call me back, I'm going to do a second date update on you, which she did. (laughs) She was obsessed with me. She wanted a date with me. I told her no because I have a girlfriend. Very happy. Thank Mm -hmm. you very much. Then she was like, well, how about Jose? And Jose said he wasn't interested, but probably interested. Yeah. We'll see. So Jose told her no. And then she went back to Nick, the original dude, and still wanted to go out with him. So she just kind of wants to go out with somebody. My favorite part of the whole thing is that we got a new nickname for you out of it, Jubal. I mean, Cutie Pie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because she called me that. So. Cutie Pie. Anyway, they decided to not go on a second date. And there are a lot of people texting in at 78592 who want dates with her. Yeah, they think she sounds fun. I must just go out in the world. You'll find her. She's out looking for dates all over the place. Remember, if you want to do a second date update, all you have to do is email the show, and we will call the person who didn't call you back. Moving 92.5 is...